how can AI change customer experience? Uh, there are two sides of the story. First of all, it's behind the scenes. AI will help us to become more productive and to increase the experience for customers in a more invisible way. And on the other hand, it will be in front of the scenes where the way that we buy and the way that we interact with brands will change fundamentally. But let's start behind the scenes. I like to play with these letters, AI to IA, artificial intelligence to intelligence augmented. Behind the scenes, we will find intelligence augmented, which means that the technology will support the humans to do a better job. And the first place where we're going to see this is the world of contact centers and customer service. There you already have software that dives into the data of the past. And then when a question from a customer comes in, they look into that data of the past and they suggest a new answer for that specific question. And the human customer service agent can see the suggested answer of the computer. They can play with it, they can use it, they can personalize it and then send it to the customer. But because of this software, because of that automation, those customer service agents can be faster in their reply and it can be done in a more personalized way. And it's totally invisible for the customer. This is where we're gonna see a lot of change. We already see that right now, but that's where we're gonna see a lot of change in the next couple of years. And then you have the more futuristic part, uh, artificial intelligence, in, in customer interactions and customer interfaces. There's already a lot happening. I mean, we have our voice assistants like Alexa and Siri and Google Assistant, but I'm still waiting there for the iPhone after the Blackberry moment for voice assistants, if you know what I mean. I have the feeling that they work for like 90%, but imagine that they will, will work for like 100%. Imagine that you can outsource certain decisions completely to a machine like that. Then the way that we buy will change completely. Uh, imagine that you say, hey, Alexa, I want to buy Colgate toothpaste. That's brilliant for Colgate because then Alexa will give you Colgate toothpaste because that's what you asked for. But it becomes more interesting when you say, hey, Alexa, I want to buy batteries. How will that AI engine decide what kind of batteries that you will get? Will you get Amazon branded batteries? Which batteries will get through that filter? probably because of their review data and their price quality perception in the market and which brands will be stopped by the filter. So I think that AI will act as some sort of a product filter in our decision making. It's, it's already happening in the field of communications. So we all know that Facebook is an information filter. So if you look to the front end, AI, there will be some sort of a filter in our life. Uh, and a lot of people criticize that. A lot of people are like, yeah, but I want to have some more surprises in my life and a filter will just narrow down my choices. And that's exactly right. So in my opinion, if you really want to be customer centric with AI, you will also have to build in some level of serendipity where there's still a surprise. If you know that your customer likes serendipity, you should build that in into the algorithm to make people even more happy. And, and that's where the challenge will be. I think the behind the scenes aspects are pretty clear how that will work. The in front of the scenes, that's where we still have a lot of growth. But if we do that in a creative way, and in a way that we do more than just automation of certain processes, that's how we're gonna win the, the heart and the business of our customers, thanks to artificial intelligence. So I hope this video gave you some new insights. I hope you will like the video. I hope you will share the video. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you again in one of my next videos. Take care.